Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Cobalion duo that I did with Sparkle Tangerine uh, using only Heatran. So we've seen Cobalion uh, duo with a mix of Chandelure, Blaziken, Moltres, even Unique 12 or uh, Unique 6 uh, without Chandelure which is actually is super impressive. Um, but well, what I want to take a look is uh, the breakdown of why the Cobalion duo was possible uh, with Heatran. So if we look, take a look at Pokebattler.com, we go Sunny Weather, Best Friend, Level 40, and we go to the moveset that Sparkle Tan Tangerine and I tackled, which was Zen Headbutt and Iron Head. You'll see that the time to win is actually 615. Um, in a duo, each of them, each player has 300 seconds. That means the time to win would be 600 seconds. So this is 15 seconds over. Uh, seven eight seconds uh, more difficult uh, than what's possible and the question is like why why is this possible so there's a couple factors on why I knew it was going to be uh, doable or doable is I switched to my Pokebox uh, so if you're I think if you're like not a member it's like yeah like 50 Pokemon if you are then you get like 2,000 or something Anyways, you guys can look this up and uh, what I've done is I've added Heatran uh, to to my box and I've put together the stats and in this case I have 100% Heatran and you'll see that at uh, let's actually go to average luckiness first at average luckiness which will be the same as basically with simmed uh, you'll see 615.9 but we know that there are there's RNG related to raids um, so whether or not the iron head uh, hits when you're trying to charge up energy or when you're doing the charge move, this is going to result in di different DPS. Whether or not you're fainting with a fire blast, whether or not you faint right after you do the fire blast and there's no wasted energy. Uh, so it's definitely some luck. So let's go to 75% and see whether or not this is possible. I'm going to let Poke Battler sim and we are going to go to Zen Head by Iron Head and we'll see 606. So we're getting, we're getting closer, uh, but you actually need to be a little bit luckier than that. So let's actually go to um, uh, extremely lucky, I guess. I thought I had, uh, they should say extreme, oh, sorry, very lucky, yeah. Never mind, <laughs> ignore me. It is very late. Uh, and you'll see here that it's 596.7. But let's actually take a look. So under 95% lucky, which means that in 5% or better, uh, RNG conditions, uh, assuming like basically everything else goes perfect, uh, you should be able to duo uh, with with Heatran. And Heatran is very tanky uh, with its Steel typing. It resists Zen Head by, and with its Fire and Steel typing, it double resists uh, Iron Head. So if we go to like we like you've seen in other solos and duos I've done in the past, uh, we're going to take a look at the numbers and breakdowns. As, as you can see, this one particular sim. There's 611 seconds, so obviously this one fails. And we'll see the first one has a DPS of 25.65. We're looking for that magic number of 25. You'll see the second one is 23, the third one is 24, and the fourth one is 25. Uh, but they still fail. Uh, they need to get to 7,500, obviously, each. Uh, but when we take a look at the numbers, uh, we'll take a look at this first particular Heatran, which is going to last for a very long time, so we're going to have to load a little bit more. And let's see whether or not it actually lost a fire blast. So you can see here that it actually did not actually lose it that much energy. It did the fire blast, and then right after it did one fire spin, and then fainted down by an iron head. And you'll see that iron head really doesn't give doesn't give a ton of energy. It gives 17 energy. Each fire spin gives 10. And you'll see each each uh, let's see each zen headbutt each zen headbutt gives um, gives two. Actually, no, this gives a seven. Seven makes more sense, yeah. Seven and two. So you're really not getting that much energy uh, from your the raid boss actually attacking you, uh, but it's still certainly uh, going to gonna add up. So ideally, uh, you do like ten, nine or ten. So ten if the raid boss didn't attack you at all. Uh, nine would mean like uh, if you got Iron Head and two, two Zen Headbutts, that would give you enough energy uh, for for a fire blast, but let me just show you how crazy this is. Um, if I can do this, 
So I'm going to change it to, um, if I can find it, hopefully. Um, okay, nope, I'm going to have to, let me do this. Uh, I'm going to go into here. Oh, it's not letting me change my charge move. Hopefully I can. Well, it's probably over here. Clear dot reaction. Um, uh, in the past, I've been able to change it to fire blast. Uh, there's the Pokemon. There's the defender. Oh, oh, because I'm, I'm doing it from my box. Okay, okay, all right. I see what's happening. Okay, let me uh, quickly fix this. Uh, sort by level. Let's go here. This is actually using my own Heatran, um, which I can just change up. And change this to Fire Spin and Fire Blast. Uh, and then what, what you'll see here is how much easier this would be with Overheat. Overheat being the superior move. And you'll see that there it's able to beat it uh, with basically, uh, it's going to be about 20 seconds uh, to spare. So it's about 25 seconds uh, faster uh, using using Overheat as opposed to Fire Blast. Fire Blast is just a strictly worse move uh, than Overheat. And unfortunately, they, they didn't do uh, Heat Train very many favors uh, by, by doing that. But let's actually take a look at the the raid battle. Um, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. We are using the lobby trick and we're right into the battle. As you can see here, we're just doing the fire spins at the beginning. The raid boss is uh, always going to do more fast moves than it normally does uh, just because it starts at zero energy and it doesn't have, and we haven't done any damage to the raid boss. So, again, a very minimal amount of energy. So, let's go ahead and take a look. And then there's a second Fire Blast. This is actually not a very exciting one. Basically, use three Heat Trans and do as many Fire Blasts as possible. There is uh, one thing that we do near the end. Um, as you can see, not very much energy generated. Uh, but absorbing those two Iron Heads means that we got 14 energy, uh, which means that we were able to do the Fire, uh, fire Blast uh, one turn earlier, uh, which could be the difference between getting off the Fire Blast and not getting off the Fire Blast. You can see these Xenobots are doing very minimal damage. Uh, so is this Iron Head. Um, unfortunately, because Fire Blast is super slow, did not get energy. You can see that the game credited to us and then rebounded it right away. Uh, so we're in a pretty decent position right now. And we're going to hit this Fire Blast. Really hoping to hit this last Fire Blast. It has to be fairly passive at this point in time. Um, and looks like even if it Iron Head comes in right now, going to be able to survive and get off this fire blast just barely. This is actually like the perfect RNG and we faint right away, which is super ideal. Uh, no wasted energy, no fire spins that don't contribute uh, to a fire blast. And ultimately that's the DPS that's going to allow you to win this raid. Um, the DPS from the fast moves is not going to be enough. Obviously the DPS from the charge moves is what's ultimately going to push it over the edge. And as you can see, I always say, like, when you're roughly on 200 seconds, you want to be into the fourth number. Uh, can be a little closer since uh, you're not re-lobbying. And I'm going to keep doing some more fire spins. And we are in a pretty decent position. Not worried about fainting at all. And as you can see, like, it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, but you you still want a good majority of the iron heads to be to hit you when uh, when you're able to get some energy. Uh, so we're going to do the fire blast and we should be able to flip it right now. So we flip it at 151. Uh, so we're in a very good position. But we do, I absolutely don't want to lose this uh, fire blast. But and I'm not. Um, and I'm actually hoping that the raid boss is going to be a little bit more aggressive here. And because I do want to faint pretty quickly and then there you go. So I only did like two or three fire spins. So that's that's pretty decent uh, So had really good RNG in the first one and pretty decent on the second one So you can imagine if it takes nine fire spins on average to get to fire blast Anything like three and below is great. Obviously zero is is amazing so in a good position 
going to hit this overheat. Again, these iron heads, not going to swing too, too much. Um, but you do want uh, more, more of them. Like, you know, if, if at each fire blast, you, you encounter like two iron heads, uh, then that's going to save like 10% of the time to get to uh, to the, the fire blast. But you need to have it timed correctly. Going to hit the fire blast. And as you can see, fire blast is so slow. Again, we don't get the energy from it. We flip it at 76, so we're in a very good position right now. But what, what I'm most worried about is uh, my heat trend fainting. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to manually switch. And... And I did get the energy uh, from that one, so that's great. And the reason I manually switch, manual switch does cost you a little bit of time, uh, but that this just basically I'm, there's no chance of me fainting. Uh, so that basically I removed um, the majority of the RNG swing. The biggest RNG swing was was going to be getting to like three quarters or ninety percent of the way to a fire blast, or even at a fire blast and then fainting. Uh, and basically that was like the only condition that we're actually going to lose. Uh, so we recognize that ahead of time and did the manual switch. So in a very good position, uh, there's absolutely no chance to faint. Even if it just continuously did iron heads, uh, we would still be able to get off uh, one more. So it's really testing uh, my <laughs> uh, my uh, daring, daring me. But as you can see here, uh, it basically did like all but two iron heads and definitely survived two more iron heads. And then able to take it out with, you know, three, four uh, seconds to go uh, with confetti. So that was really excellent RNG. Good RNG on the, f amazing RNG on the first one. Uh, good on the second one. And then we controlled the RNG um, and wasted about one second uh, in order to, you know, we basically are hedging our, hedging our risk at that point in time. So anyways, I don't want you guys to take a look at my very sloppy throwing of against this raid boss. Uh, but uh, let me know uh, if there are any other raid challenges. I still want to do uh, the Cloudy Duo. It's just very difficult uh, to coordinate our times and uh, getting the right weather. It's uh, been snowing quite a bit uh, in Toronto. So I am going to leave it there. If you guys like this video or you guys want to see more raid challenges, uh, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see everyone in the next video.